Guys, I'm Louis Gadetti, and today is a special treat because I'm going to be drawing my niece, Amelia, who is just an awesome kid. She's so cute. For those of you who don't know, I am a professionally trained artist, and I hurt my right pec a couple weeks ago, and I've had surgery on it. I will make a full recovery, but until then, I'm going to learn to draw and paint once my studio is up and running, that's another story, with my left hand. All right, so uh, first, I showed a, a video in my uh, last video of how I got hurt, but it wasn't that accurate, so I'm going to show you a video that was a little bit more accurate. Actually, it was 100% accurate. This is actually what happened. Let's go. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're starting very basic. The chin and the, well, actually, in this case, the top of the head because the hairline, normally I go to the hairline, but her hair is dipping down over her forehead. So ideally, you want to go through and get the shape of the forehead. You get the eye sockets in, the angle of the eyes, the angle of the nose, the mouth. It's very interesting if you observe people, it's not all, they're not always parallel to each other, the angles of the features. Oftentimes the eyes might be going up a little bit, whereas the nose might be going this way some, the mouth might be going up some. So they're not always parallel to each other. That just blew my mind when, when I figured that out on my own. Nobody taught me. I've never been trained before, by the way. I made all this stuff up. I don't need help. I know everything. All right, so we're going through and blocking in everything. We're going very simple. And when I say block in, what does that mean? That means we're just getting the basic shapes in so we can move those shapes. And now I'm going through and adding just a fine layer of shadow and I'm trying to keep it as even as I can. And notice I'm not going through darkening and, and modeling. I'm doing this right now because my eyes could not see anymore. Well, they probably could, but you keep it in a simple stage and then you start adding the shadow shapes when your eye can't see what needs to move in that initial state, okay? And if you really push that, you're exercising your eyes and your mind to be able to see and understand shades, which is just an amazing skill to have if you're in, in the arts, whether it's sculpting or painting. Now I'm just going through and, and adding a little bit of light over, which you don't necessarily have to do over the forehead. I'm going through the eyes in the interest of trying to get the larger shape. Everything that I do is in the interest, or should be in the interest of getting the larger shape. So when you're detailing those little eyes, always be looking at the whole shape. And one little trick that will help you not get your eyes too big or too small when you're drawing an area, say for the eye, look at the forehead and draw the eye. Or try to look at the whole shape and draw the eye, but do not look at the eye if you understand what I'm saying. That way, you'll be trying to fit the eye in properly to how you see the whole shape, and it will correspond better to that area. Isn't she cute? She's so happy. Amelia was, has always been, well, she's, she's obviously very young. This picture was taken, this picture was taken about a week ago, and she was always afraid of me. She was always so scared when she was you know, one, two years old. Well, she's, she's two still, I think she's still two, but she just recently started laughing and warming up to me. But she's just the sweetest kid. And so now we're going through, and essentially I have three different values with the shadows. I have the darkest dark, which is the mouth and the eyes, and then you have a darker, which is in the hair, and then a lighter after that. And in this way, the idea is that every value, which is how light or dark something is, that's a value, has its own shape. You'll notice in the good drawings of the masters, Michelangelo, Raphael, the Ninja Turtles, right? Donatello, Leonardo, yeah! Those guys, if you really look, Donatello was a, sculpt, a sculptor, but the other three were amazing draftsmen, which is, they knew how to draw and painters. Their shadow shapes, were actual shapes. You could, you can go through, I mean, 
that's a great way to learn is find some of their drawings and copy them. I re highly recommend that because you'll understand how to get subtle shadow shapes within shadow shapes. That's so important because all the shapes need to fit in together so you have to get the whole shape otherwise those shapes aren't going to fit. It's like a puzzle piece if you understand. If you know what I mean. Now those eyes are a little bit off. Especially that right eye. Okay, I'm going through and fixing it right now. I'm putting the hair in. And I was... So the last drawing I did of Ben, I, I did a very poor job on the hair. Very poor job. This this time I really wanted to do a better job on the hair, so I'm doing a little bit better. And I know I'm going through and starting to detail because the shapes, for the most part, are correct. For the most part, there's still improvements. It's not 100%. Uh, this drawing, obviously, you can tell you know, it's scaled about that big. It's off my hand. And so I'm just trying to get the impression, which is the sense of light. When you draw, always squint down. Always squint down. Now I could get these in, these uh, proportions much quicker. I should get them much quicker. Here we are trying to sculpt that jawline, her chiseled features. Look how cute she is. That mouth is, I could do a better job with that mouth. It seems a little bit hard up here, that upper lip. I'm going through and I'm trying to get just the overall and notice I'm working all around the drawing which doesn't mean I'm standing up and moving around it means I'm going from the top of the head to the bottom of the chin to the eyes and that keeps you that keeps you looking at the whole image and not getting caught up in one little detail that's that's bad okay well guys I hope you enjoyed that I will be doing more videos like this let me know what you thought in the comments of this. Let me know if you liked the video or if you want to see me do anything else. I'll have my studio back in about a week, I think, and I should be able to paint. And I am going to be doing some painting, so hopefully I can do something like this. I'm very new at, at video, so it's a lot to learn, but you know, I'm going to figure out a way to do it. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Y'all take care.